let's be honest with ourselves right now. Do you actually enjoy putting on VR equipment? In an age where more and more stuff is getting removed from our hardware for convenience, it feels like full body tracking is just one of those things that's so obviously there. But what if you didn't even have to wear trackers to begin with? That's just standable, no? Wrong. I was generously given early access to a product called Movers Capture, an AI-driven, poultry thought, camera-based full-body tracking software that requires nothing except your body and some cameras you set up. And yes, it's kind of like a Kinect. I've had at least 10 goddamn people mention that comparison to me, except it's way better since it's, you know, not just a singular camera. The company behind the project typically do mocap-based projects, but I guess now they want to get into a VR setting as well, which is kind of really cool when you think about it. I was not paid to make this video. The only thing I get for this is the product itself. And I know, wow, Resh made a second sponsored video in a row. What a shill. Yeah, and I'll do a Raid Shadow Legends ad if I need to. Be quiet and watch the cool tech video, damn it. But let me do the whole setup process, I guess. I was apparently supposed to do one of those flashy unboxings, but I really fucked up the box and forgot to take a video, so I'm just gonna not do that. It comes with some cameras, mini mounts, USB extension cables, and a calibration board. That's literally it, nothing else crazy. So you just attach three cameras in high spots around your room that get the most visibility, and you are all good to go there. I've never hung up a base station before, so you can clearly tell I had to get creative with some glue and command strips. Since the mini mounts were definitely an early build, they were kind of flimsy, so I ripped the legs off of them like a toddler torturing ants and used the base for angling the cameras themselves. Now that the cameras are set up, you gotta do the basic calibration stuff. Wave that cardboard logo like a... I, I, I don't know, I'm bored of making a bunch of similes. Then just set it on the ground, move it around five times, and then the calibration is all good to go. Now we just need to calibrate you. Do an A pose, and now look at our little blue man. Look at him go. Oh, oh, oh. All that's left is a T pose for 10 seconds side of VR chat, and you're all good to go. The T posing can take a bit to work sometimes, so keep an eye on your monitor to see if it's actually recognizing you doing it. Now we can actually test the bitch out, and one downside I should be upfront about is that it can definitely require a bit of extra power to use. Luckily, the amount of AI usage can be scaled up and down, and things like your room lighting are completely accounted for in the settings of it. But that purely depends on how good you normally run anyway, since I have above 60 FPS on the normal, but having consistent Wi-Fi connections will probably have you in a better spot than I do. Anyway, now that we've got this hooked up, I guess I should try using it and see how it functions. Honestly, the first immediate thing I was caught off guard by was that it is complete 13-point tracking. It tracks literally everything your standard trackers do and more, and I've been freaking out about this because let me tell you, holy shit, I hate elbow trackers so goddamn much they are a fucking nightmare. Having the ankle rotations without being forced to wear shoes is also really nice as well. I tried doing some weird poses I could think of doing just to see if it would work under those conditions, and yeah, it surprisingly works really well there. I was shocked. If you have any recommendations for any poses you would like to see me do, leave a comment down below and next week I'll do some of the top suggestions in like a short or something, I don't know. I did my usual routine of stuff around VR chat like working out, dicking around with friends, and legally watching movies. Shut up, they are totally legal, don't, don't. To get a feel for how much of a difference there is in my general feeling. I felt so free when doing things these times and not being forced to wear a specific type of clothing was really nice so that the trackers don't just slip down my thighs. Sort of. I'll get to that in a minute. The fact that I can do things I usually do without any trackers on and doesn't immediately seem wrong is just awesome. But that's when things didn't go wrong, which I will admit did happen a decent couple times. Usually it was whenever my game lagged or whatever, my body would basically go into an entirely different dimension, and although the calibration process was easy to get back to normal, I do hope for future iterations of this product to have controller input options for the process. As well, when wearing dark clothing, the cameras had a hard time telling what the hell my legs are doing. So just a forewarning to my chill and emo viewers. But overall, my time with this was a lot of fun, and I honestly can't wait to keep using it more and see what I can really do with it, but I'll have to see what ends up happening there. There's still some work to be had, but that's where you come in. They're hosting a Kickstarter so you, the viewer, can get your hands on these and give them a shot yourself. Your funding will allow them to have stuff like Steam VR integration to make this equipment accessible across all VR platforms since it is currently only available on VRChat through OSC. As of the writing of this video, it is not officially up yet, but you can click the link in the description to get a notification when the page pops up. But that's all I can say for now. It's shocking to me how close I am to my final VR project, but that's how life can be. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, build the stuff that people tell you to do, and I'll see you in a couple weeks for the final long form video on VR I have to share. Thank you, and I will see y'all when I see y'all. Alright.